Assalamu alaikum. Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this vlog, we are showing Hamza's annual day and graduation day function. This is the highlights of this vlog. After this highlights, you can watch the full videos of the functions. Hamza is studying in KG2 at Emirates National School in Sharjah, UAE. Emirates National School was established in 1980. This school is CBSC curriculum and has grades from KG1 to 12th grade. The school campus is beautiful, well maintained and has a lush greenery landscape all around in the school. Hamza is in KG2 E section and he was very much excited to perform on the stage. This is Hamza's first stage performance as he didn't study KG1. On behalf of all the students and teachers of KG2, Hamza was given a golden opportunity to welcome the principal for the function. For the annual day function, Hamza was part of a skit and he got one of the major role of acting as Zero. You can watch the full skit after this highlights. Hamza was also in a group dance done by students of KG2E and KG2H. We enjoyed watching the programs of all the kids of KG2 and all the kids performed well. KG2 students are lucky to have dedicated and wonderful teachers whose guidance and efforts made the kids perform with confidence. On the same day, KG2 graduation ceremony was also held. It was great to watch all the tiny tots getting graduated. Parents had an amazing opportunity of going up to the stage to meet the principal and faculties and were also able to capture the graduation moments with their kids. Do subscribe to our channel for more videos. Stay tuned and enjoy watching the annual day and graduation day functions of KG2. Good afternoon everybody, esteemed guest of honor, our director and principal Mr. Ravi Thomas, headmistress Mrs. Alice Thomas, Mr. Ravish Thomas, academic director, members of the senior leadership team, dear parents, colleagues, friends and beloved students. On Friday 8th March we celebrated the annual day of the lower kindergarten section in the morning from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. In fact, we were unable to celebrate the KG2 annual day yesterday due to the inclement weather. And by the grace of the Almighty, we have all assembled here today to celebrate the KG2 annual day and the KG2 graduation program. We want all of you to be present throughout the function and to bless as well as encourage our tiny tots. On this note, on behalf of the principal, staff and students, I welcome each and every one of you to the annual day of the upper kindergarten section of our school as well as the KG graduation program.
be seated. Prayer is our lifeline and strength. It should be the key of the day and lock of the night. So let's start this afternoon's program with prayers. For the recitation from the Holy Quran, I call upon Muhammad Nahyan Sheikh of KG2A. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعوذ وإياك نستعين أهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الظالين آمين صدق الله الذين نيتا ناندن of KG to G will recite verses from the Bhagavad Gita Bhagavad Gita chapter twelve verses thirteen and fourteen अद्वैष्टूता मैत्रकुण एव चमो नरहंकार समुखसुखशमी संदुष्ट सतत योगी यता दृढ़ निश्चय Maya alpida manu buddhi, yong mak bak sama priya. Om taksat. We end with a reading from the Holy Bible by Nivan Sam George of KG Two C. Today's Bible reading portion taken from Psalms, chapter hundred, verses one to five. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. And his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Yes, thank you, children. Now all the programs today are centered around different aspects of the theme: self-denial, the tool for ultimate victory. I invite our academic director Mr Ravish Thomas for the formal welcome and the theme exposition. A very good afternoon to our respected principal Mr Ravi Thomas, headmistress Ms Alice Thomas, vice principal Abraham Matthew sir, members of the senior leadership team, academic council members, dear parents, teachers and my dear lovely children of KG2. a very good evening this evening is a celebration life is a celebration but we come here to celebrate the milestones that our kids our children have achieved at different stages kg2 seems to be too insignificant of a timeline for us to celebrate but even though it appears trivial it is for us a momentous occasion as we reflect at the various stages of our children's lives today gives us an opportunity for us to stand still and observe and explore the glimpse of what our children can be and what we ought to do so that they may achieve the different levels of success that we would want them to achieve with that in mind when we have assembled this evening these moments are very important for us as a school we get the opportunity to partner with you our parents in the vision and mission that the school has in terms of the lives of these young ones 
the stark difference between the Emirates National School and the other institutions around us is in our understanding of success. When we reflect the current educational policies, we are driven with a certain yardstick by our authorities to try and encourage them, to propel them into expansions of their skill sets in their acquirement of knowledge and understanding. But beyond that, we as the Emirates National School community understands what it means at a very different light. The theme for this evening is self-denial, the ultimate tool for success. Allow me this evening to share a few thoughts as to how we understand self-denial. We would want you to imbibe these principles in your daily lives so that when we join together, we will be shaping a future for our children that would be wonderful, marvelous, and in turn change this world and make it a better place. So, what do we do and how do we deny ourselves? The first way that we look at self-denial is deny oneself the accolades of laurels. As we try and exaggerate our successes and as the world around us tries to tell us that we need to celebrate what we do when we achieve the ultimate victory, we urge you, deny those accolades that the world gives you. For those, for those accolades are fleeting. World around us are always in a hurry to always enthrone those who are champions among us. But very soon, our successes and laurels will be replaced. And then we shall find ourselves alone in this big, huge world. By self-denying the successes of laurels, we move to a higher stage. And we enable our neighbors and our friends and our students to understand the true meaning of what it means to cherish in somebody's success. Our neighbor's victory is our own success too. And when they win, we celebrate along with them. And that truly happens when we are not attached to our laurels. The second way to deny yourself is in the gratification or in the solace or the comfort that one has in the familiar. Many times we try and associate ourselves with groups that we are familiar with or environments that we wish to be part of. But we urge our students to move to the unfamiliar by moving into those zones of discomfort. There is power and there is strength. And it is in those areas that great, marvelous achievements are made. And finally, we would love our individuals, our students, to deny oneself the right to vengeance. As we move to this season of Ramadan, self-abstinence is a value, is a wisdom that resonates through the ages. Hedonistic lifestyles and influences are something that our past have taught us to move away from. Along with that, a key cornerstone of abstinence is your right to vengeance. This does not hold more true than any other time in the history of human civilization. As we see communities gathering together in the name of vengeance, we as a school propagate that may you replace your right to vengeance with the right to love. May we change our neighbor, not in our right of what is right and wrong, but through the instruments of love that they may be corrected. Dear parents, this evening as we come together, we wish to see these values instilled in our children. And we want to find joy as they emulate these values so that they may change the world. I invite each and every one of you, as you view at your children's lives, who are our children too, may you acknowledge those values, may you acknowledge those moments that are glimpses to what they ought to be and may we celebrate the life that they will eventually live. I wish you all a lovely evening, 
and may we join together in cheering for our loved ones as they perform for us so that we may be happy and so that we may share the joy that they wish to imbibe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ravish Thomas, for sharing your thoughts on the ENS theme, Self-Denial, the Tool to Ultimate Victory. Dear parents, the GAF is the national tree of the UAE and is a cultural symbol of stability and peace in the UAE's desert environment. The GAF is a drought-tolerant tree able to withstand the harsh desert environment and still remains green. On this occasion, on behalf of the staff and students of the kindergarten section, we present a golf tree sapling to the founder, director and principal of the Emirates National School, our beloved Ravi Thomas Sir, as a token of our love, respect and gratitude. We salute the unwavering determination and perseverance of Sir, his hard work, commitment and dedication for the past 45 years in establishing a school founded with a mission to create a better human race, better human beings who not only aim for excellence in all aspects of their holistic development, but also who have imbibed the seven pillars of our school, integrity and truthfulness, secular spirituality and inclusiveness, social commitment and compassion, equality and justice, discipline and self-organization, love for nature and protection of the environment, and pursuit of excellence and perseverance. Thank you, sir, once again. Dear parents, our tiny tots are eagerly waiting to present their programs and we commence with the performance by the students of KG2F and KG2C. True humanity is not in systems, creeds or rights, but in self-denial, in the performance of loving deeds and in bringing the greatest good to others. The modern world is richer, safer and more connected than ever before, but it is also a far less loving world than we need or want. Lack of empathy, tolerance, impatience, viciousness run rampant, but we can make this technically advanced, automated and selfish world a more loving world by being compassionate, kind, forgiving and tolerant. We need to recognize the sacred worth of every person, imbibe the character of and emulate the good Samaritan who stops, sympathizes, and helps the wounded man when the others ignore him. The Good Samaritan symbolizes the heart of God towards all people, regardless of who we are and where we come from. By being mindful of the suffering of those whom we serve, we can make it a more loving world, and this is what we as a school are trying to imbibe in our children. The skit based on the story of the Good Samaritan is followed by a Sufi dance from Turkey which symbolizes abandoning of our personal desires, passions, egos, connecting to the Creator and reaching the spiritual perfection of our own faith. This can help us to make the world a more loving world because God is love and love is all that matters. Presenting our first program titled Together to Create a More Loving World by the students of KG2F and KG2C under the training of their class teachers, Mrs. Lucy John and Mrs. Priya Prem Kumar, respectively. Oh, what is this? A golden box. Yes, it is. What's in it? Open and see for yourself. A more loving world. The love is there in this world now. Yes, a yes. little bit here and there. Perhaps this should be a more loving world. A world with selfless love. Is that possible? Definitely. I will tell you a story. A story of an old Jewish man. We must have done something wrong.
The second passerby places his hand on the wounded man, wipes out the blood, takes a handkerchief and bandages his head. He also takes out a bottle of water from his bag and makes him drink it. The passerby helps the wounded man to get up and takes him to a nearby inn. Oh, what happened? He is wounded, totally in bad shape. Do you know him? No, but take him inside and keep him comfortable. All right. I will come tomorrow, and if you want more, I will give you. Oh, where am I? Who brought me here? You are in my lodge, friend. And I'm the innkeeper. How come I be here? Somebody brought you here. Who? I don't know anything about him. He didn't even tell his name. Surely he must be an angel. A good Samaritan. God bless him. With people like him, the world looks beautiful. How did you like the story? Oh, it was great. I hope there could be more people like him with selfless love. Yes. Come on, let's go. And did you know that our friends are performing dance at school today, which is traditional and dates back to the 13th century. Oh, really? What is it called? It is called Supi, a dance form of worship. Do you know more about that? Yes. The Supi dance symbolizes the journey towards spiritual enlightenment and unity with God. With spirituality and unity with God, we can make the world more loving because God is love and love is all that matters. Oh, it's amazing. I can't wait to see that. Let's go. Only love matters.
A more loving world can be created only when we all together practice self-denial, connect ourselves to the Creator and love others with a pure heart. Once again, a big round of applause for the tiny tots of KG2F and KG2C and their class teachers. Our next program is by the students of KG2E and KG2H titled Living for Others, The Sublime Purposefulness. Social commitment and inclusiveness is one of the seven pillars of our school which we want our students to practice. It is said that as we lose ourselves in the service of others, we discover our lives and our own happiness. It not only involves denying oneself or sacrificing our privileges, rights, comforts or needs for the sake of others, but also involves extending kindness, compassion and aid to those around us. It is also adding value to the lives of others, like the number zero, which, if placed after any number, has a significant impact on the value of that number. Like zero, we can also add value to the lives of others through every relationships we have, every friend we help, every stranger we care about, every family member we support, every child we bring up, and every time we care about anyone else. We are all dreamers and in the process of achieving our dreams, we should not trample on the dreams of others, but support and help them achieve their dreams by creating a nurturing and inspiring environment for them. We need to be an umbrella protecting others from the rains and storms of life. In fact, we need to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud and through shared endeavors, inclusivity, support, self-denial, we can help others achieve or accomplish greater things. Under the tutelage of their class teacher, Mrs. Niti Kapoor and Mrs. Aksa Parveen, the tiny tots of KG2E and KG2H will now present their program titled Living for Others, The Sublime Purposefulness. What happened everyone? Why are you all looking so sad? Don't you remember that we have to do our annual day practice? How can can we practice Rihanna? Zero is missing and without him we cannot do any practice. 
What? Vero is missing? We need to go and find him. Otherwise, our teachers will be really upset. What happened, Zero? Where were you and why are you looking so sad? I am sad because nobody loves me. I think I am not a good boy. What makes you think that nobody loves you? I think you are mistaken. It's because I am Zero. Zero has no value. I am good for nothing. No, you are not. Let me explain to you, my friend. When you stand next to number five, increase the value five times more. Really? Do you mean I'm important? Yes, you are. Oh yes, not only that, when you stand next to any number, you add value to a number and hence increase value. Wow, that makes me so happy. I am not sad anymore. Thank you very much friends for your support. God has given each one of us something special. We all have our own identity and importance. Even a small ant can befriend and help a mighty elephant. Yes, Tishika, you are right. We have to find our own calling in our life. Well, I'm glad the problem is solved. Let's go and perform. After all, it's our annual day.
Tiger, what is the theme of 2024 this year in school? I have no idea. Would you care to tell me, please? Of course, my dear. This year, we are celebrating the year of self-denial. Self-denial? I have not heard that word before. Will you please enlighten me? It is a year of change, a year of self-denial, where we don't think about ourselves first as a priority, but we put the need of others first. Wow, that's a beautiful thought. Would not the world be a better place if we all could do this, Rihanna? It's like carrying a good deed forward and not just sleeping it back. So let us take a pledge today and promise to be the umbrella which keeps the rain away for someone else. Let's discover our own lives and our own happiness by losing ourselves in the service of others through self-denial. Dear parents, once again, please put your hands together for the students of KG2E and KG2H and their class teachers. We have our young KG2 dancers to entertain you all with their semi-classical group dance.
once again a big round of applause for our budding dancers of KG2. In the words of Ariana Huffington, living in a state of gratitude is a gateway to grace. Gratitude is a beautiful way of enriching our lives. When we express our gratefulness to other people, we feel happier, calmer and also goodness to allow goodness to enter our lives. As the tiny tots of KG2 turn the page to the next chapter of their lives, they would like to sing something special for you through the thank you song. This song is all about expressing their gratitude to their teachers, parents and grandparents. Let's enjoy this song sung by the students of KG2 under the training of our music teacher, Mrs. Vidya Vishwanath. Yes, thank you children. Please put your hands together once again for these tiny tots of KG2. Our next program is an Arabic group dance. The UAE's deep culture is reflected in its diverse and myriad dance forms. These dances are performed during celebrations or events as birth, wedding and sometimes during religious festivals. Today, as a tribute to our host country, UAE, the tiny tots of KG2 will present a beautiful Arabic group dance under the training of their Arabic teacher, Mrs. Rukaya and also Mrs. Devika. شكلها سهرة صباحي والكل هيفضل صاحي وما نسهرش الا مع الناس الناس الغالية ونعيش اجمل سهرايا بالصحبة الحلوة كفاية ونسيب السهرة الحلوة دي ونروح على فين
Yes, dear parents, once again a big round of applause for these young tiny tots of uh, the KG2 section. Our next program is a tribute to the soldiers presented by the students of KG2A and KG2G. Soldiers, one of the greatest assets of any country, are the embodiment of sacrifice, the guardians of our freedom and the sentinels of peace. They owe their own identity and happiness to their country and are willing to sacrifice their lives for the greater good of their nation. They are selfless and put the interest of their country above their personal interest. They deny themselves the pleasure of spending time with their loved ones, their comforts, pleasures, happiness and health in order to guard their nation and their fellow countrymen. Just as the soldiers deny themselves and have a lot of fight left in them to overcome all their struggles and challenges in their lives, we should also have the ability to deny ourselves and fight the adversities of life to make a difference in the lives of others, however small or insignificant we are. The program also highlights women empowerment where a girl child who desires to be a soldier faces all the obstacles on her way to achieve her dream. The tiny tots of KG2A and KG2G under the guidance of their class teachers, Mrs. Syria Eldos and Mrs. Biji Lesson will now present the program titled Soldiers, Our Nation's Heroes as a tribute to the determination, resilience and self-sacrificing nature of the extraordinary life of soldiers. <laughs> Lieutenant Abel, you are requested to report to the camp immediately. मुबारक हो तुम पापा बनने वाले हो अब से एक नहीं दो लोग तुम्हारा इंतजार करेंगे घर पे बेटा इस दिवाली घर आओगे ना मैं तुम्हारी राह देखूंगी चंदे से आते हैं हमें तड़पाते हैं आती है मुझे जाती है कि घर कब आओगे कि घर कब आओगे लिखो कब आओगे कि तुम बिन ये घर सुना सुना है हाय निवीना what do you aspire to be? I'm sure you want to be a doctor, right? You got it all wrong, dear Shannon. I want to be a soldier. A soldier? Not all of us want to be doctors or engineers. I want to dedicate my life for serving the country. Hmm, happy to hear that. तेरे हाथों में 
किस्मत हो तेरे धड़कन में गौर हो तेरे सांसों में जुरत हो तुझसे ही सब संभव हो अपना कर तू संभाले तू ही देवी तू ही बेटी अब तू ही राह दिखा दे तेरे कल का सपना है अब Now let's honor our Indian soldiers for their dedication. कंधों से मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं कंधों से मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं Yes, thank you, children. Once again, a big round of applause for the students of KG two A and KG two G, and their teachers. Our next program is presented by the students of KG two D and KG two B. Just like the beautiful flowers in a garden, God's children come in different shapes, sizes, colors, and abilities. Yet, like the flowers, each one is beautiful and has his or her own special gifts to offer the world. Every child is a God's child, whether able or dis differently able, and is a masterpiece of God created for a specific purpose. As parents and teachers, our endeavor should be to share God's love with those who are special or differently able by reaching out to them, praying for them, and spending a time of fellowship with them. Let's use our God's gift of love to touch lives and make this world beautiful and wonderful. Remember. There is only one child and one light, which implies that all are God's children and have to be treated in the same light with love, respect, patience, and dignity, and by giving our time, energy, and effort. This love, respect, dignity, and patience are aspects of self-denial, and when we imbibe these values or principles, we can be happy, make others happy, and make this world a better place to live in. Let's enjoy this program titled All Our God's Children presented by KG2D and KG2B trained by their class teachers Mrs Maria Saifi and Mrs Nalini Sanoj Kumar <laughs> अरे 
Hey, where are you? Hey. Oh, you're here. What are you doing? Mama, Mama, see my drawing. What is this? I have drawn the sun. But why did you color the sun green? Because in my world it is green. I told you many times the sun looks hey. yellow. Mama, I forgot. All your friends can read and write. And what's the problem with you? Mama, I don't understand why I keep forgetting. Because you're not interested in children. I'm very upset because of you. Oh, someone is on the door. Let me check. Mama, Mama, please talk with me. मैं कभी बतलाता नहीं पर अंधेरे से डरता हूं मैं मां यू तो मैं दिखलाता नहीं तेरी परवाह करता हूं मैं मां तुझे सब है पता है ना मां तुझे सब है पता मेरी माँ भीड़ में यू न छोड़ो मुझे घर लौट के भी आना पाऊ माँ भेजना इतना दूर मुझको तू याद भी तुझको आना पाऊ माँ क्या इतना बुरा हूँ मैं माँ क्या इतना son I will pray for you definitely our prayers will be heard in heaven are you sure mom no doubt my dear a mother's prayer is very powerful god will send the angels to help you your dreams will also get the wings my child come with me
pushing through the darkness, still another mile. I believe in angels, something good in angels. Let's respect the differences and abilities. Remember that all are God's children and make this world beautiful and wonderful. Please put your hands together for the students of KG2D and KG2B and their class teachers. Every child is God's masterpiece of creation. Every creation is unique in its own way. There are some children who have the special signature of God with them. Thank you. This was the last of the cultural program presented by the KG2 students. And before we commence with the graduation program, dear parents, we begin with the first ENS graduation program of the upper kindergarten students of the academic year 2023-24. This kindergarten graduation is a celebration of every kindergarten graduate's achievement in completing his or her kindergarten education. It is, in fact, the celebration of an academic milestone because 
Once the students complete the upper kindergarten, they begin the next phase of their academic development. We congratulate the young kinder graduates and wish them the very best in their future educational journey. I request Mrs. Sabiha Ahmed, our KG section head, to give away the graduation certificates to the students of the upper kindergarten in the presence of our director and principal, Mr. Ravi Thomas, our headmistress, Mrs. Alice Thomas, senior vice principal, Mr. Abraham Matthew, and Mr. Arun Gopinath, the KG. And we are beginning with the distribution of the graduation certificates to the students of KG 2C. First, we have Abel Jinu of KG 2C, who is very punctual, obedient, and studious. Abel Jinu and Alfonso Jinu, both from KG 2C. Next, we have Adam Chris, who is very polite, has, is a good leader, punctual, and very generous. Both the parents can come forward if you would like to take a photograph. The next child will be Amaya Rin Rinas. The parent can get ready. On the stage, we have Adam Chris. Next, we have Amaya Rinas. She is described, she is very helpful, very hardworking, insightful, and well behaved. Next, we have Asiya Mullah who is a very good leader, very obedient, enthusiastic, and helpful. On the stage, it is Asiya Mullah. Meanwhile, the parents of Buranuddin Abbas Hussein can get ready. Next is Buranuddin Abbas Hussain, described by the teacher as very obedient, studious, disciplined, and friendly. Following Buranuddin is Dhirav Raj. Next is Dhirav Raj, a very respectful boy, hardworking, helpful, and honest. The parent of Diara Ria, please get ready near the stage. Next, we have Diara Ria Dalmeda, who is very kind and courteous, disciplined and punctual, honest, and a good leader. The parents of Eva James, please be ready. Next is Eva James, a very disciplined child, very honest, hardworking, and punctual. The parents of Eva Anna Liju, please be ready. Next is Eva Enna Liju, a very disciplined child, very confident, very industrious and innovative. Gurnoor Singh's parents, please be ready. Next is Gurnoor Singh, a very enthusiastic child, innovative and a good leader. Haifa Harris parents, please be ready.
Next is Haifa Harris, a very disciplined child, very honest, hardworking and creative. Joel Mariam's parents, please be ready. Next is Joel Mariam Annie, who is very enthusiastic, helpful and generous. Sion Tom's parents. Sion Tanvi Albert Humeid Ivana Jovana Jinshu. The parents, please be ready. Next we have Siona Tom Sinish. Siona Tom Sinish, very curious, hardworking, confident and cooperative. Next it is Tanvi Sharath Shashidharan Nair, a good leader, confident, responsible and an independent learner. We have Albert Francis Lijo, a very good communicator, very jovial, disciplined and punctual. Next it is Humeid Adil Abad, a very amiable child, ambitious and adventurous. Next is Ivana Rose Xavier, who is very considerate, disciplined and very good at collaborative work. Next is Giovanna Maria Biju, a very disciplined, studious, humble and honest child. Next is Jishnu Senthil Kumar, a very creative, disciplined and enthusiastic learner. Next is Nivan Sam George, very enthusiastic, studious, obedient, honest and confident. Next we have Pranish Prabhakara, a very friendly, disciplined, very serene and hardworking child. We have Ivania Biju, a very enthusiastic, jovial, helpful and confident child. Next we have Harshin Hashin, a very confident, amiable child who is very curious to learn new things.
and the last child it is Joanna Elsa Shijo, a very friendly, courteous, enthusiastic and a lover of nature. The class teacher of KG2C is Mrs. Priya Prem. A big round of applause to all our KG2C young graduates. And now we will have a group photograph. Okay, thank you children. And now we are going to start with uh, KG2F. The class teacher is Mrs. Lucy John. I request all the parents of KG2F to be ready. As the name of your ward is being called out, please come to the stage. Now KG2F, the class teacher, Mrs. Lucy John. First we have Akif Chalan of KG2F, a very truthful, helpful child and a good leader. Next we have Alisa Anil John, a very obedient, loving and disciplined child. Next I call both these students, Angela Ann Anish and Evangela Jess Anish. They are twins. Angela is very polite, curious and responsible, whereas Evangela, she is cheerful, expressive and a very good singer. Next we have Arav, uh, Arun. He is very imaginative, very enthusiastic and always very joyful. Next we have Ayan Ahmad Raj, a very determined child, very cheerful and very adaptable. Next is Hafisa Fatima. A very friendly and kind-hearted child and always very thankful. Next is Jace Jackson, a very respectful determined and responsible child. Jerusha Jacob, who is, she is very polite, imaginative and friendly. I request all the parents of KG2F to be ready near the stage. Next is Joanne Anna Shaji, a very cheerful, loving and helpful child.
Joshua Georgi, a very cheerful and energetic child and very good at sports. Levin Joseph Lijo, a very enthusiastic, determined child and very good at expressing his thoughts. Next is Ravya Saini, is very determined, very attentive and exhibits good leadership qualities. Next we have Ridhan K, who is very friendly, energetic and cheerful. Next is Shraddha Manoj Menon and Shreya Manoj Menon. Shraddha is considerate to others, polite and joyful, whereas Shreya Manoj is caring, respectful and cheerful. They are twins. Next, Anugraha Sara Sajo. A good dancer, very cheerful and friendly. Ivan Neto, a very polite, loving and respectful child. Ivan Neto. Next we have Irene Maria Manuel and Eric Matias Manuel. Irene is disciplined, obedient and friendly whereas Eric is imaginative, attentive and obedient. Next we have Sahasra Dugimpudi. A very respectful, imaginative and cheerful child. Abrian Samuel Thomas, a very disciplined, cheerful and respectful child. Irene Elsa Thomas, a very energetic, polite and joyful child. Aisha Siddika, a very determined, polite and responsible child. And the last student of KG2F, Hiba Fatima, a very cheerful, expressive and determined child. A 
and now for a group photograph of KG2F. Next class is KG2E. I request all the parents to be ready near the stage. First, we have the class teacher is Mrs. Niti Kapoor. We have Adriel Rian Pinto, a very diligent and focused child and a good reader. Adriel Rian Pinto. Next is Alan. Next is Alankrita Anoop, a very hardworking, well behaved, and affectionate child. Next is Buranuddin Moiz. Bundiwala, a very well-mannered child, sincere and polite. Dion Thomas Sujit, a very responsible child, exhibits good leadership qualities and a good reader. Durrat Sheikh Bhai Wala, a very hardworking, polite and well-mannered child. Next is Hamza Zaheer, a very caring, well-mannered child with good communication skills. Next is Mushfira Musakir Saida. She is very focused. The child is focused, sincere, and disciplined. Next is Neve George Jacob, a very good. Samaritan, cooperative and good observer. Pranav Kumar Selva Kumar, very good at mental mathematics, very polite and obedient. Rihanna Susan Thomas, very sincere, good at communication and very 
कॉन्सेंशियस Rose Miriam Sino very vivacious exhibits positive attitude and has good communication skills Saira Elsa Punnos very friendly helpful and focused Neha Rose Relips very soft spoken creative and humble Steve Matthew Sunil a very well behaved hard working and disciplined child next we have twins talbia ahmed and musakir ahmed talbia ahmed is a good samaritan very heedful and loving and musakir ahmed is a good reader enthusiastic and respectful Next is Alankrita Rajul very affectionate sincere and caring Next is Anika Hisham a very well behaved child very attentive and has a zest to learn new things Ethan Bijo a very genuine child very soft spoken and well behaved Maheshwar Balu a very friendly affectionate and responsible child Monir Hussain Syed has good retention skills very disciplined and possesses good vocabulary Jasi Bali very imaginative confident and has good communication skills Aditi Srini a very disciplined attentive and independent child
Ivanio Franci Tanjan, a very active, friendly and independent child. The last child of KG2V, it is Samaira Ali Shah, a very optimistic, cheerful and courteous child. I even dare to say that a school is more important than a church or a mosque or a temple. The moment you enter the portals of an educational institution, that consciousness should be there in each one of us. And if we have such great teachers, not only loving the children, but setting standards for everybody, the society, the world will be a better place. Uh, dear parents, now we resume with the presentation of the graduation certificates and it is for the students of KG2H. So I request all the parents to be ready so that you can come onto the stage to take a photograph with your child. I request Abraham Matthew sir, Arun sir, ma'am, Sabiha ma'am, Ravish everybody to be on the stage to present the certificates. From KG to H, the first is uh, Abin Davis Jibin. KG to H, Abin Davis Jibin, a very attentive, cordial, and disciplined child. Next we have Aiza Binte Khaliq, a very obliging, efficient and enthusiastic child. Next.
Next we have Bettina Esbino, a very disciplined, cordial and sincere child. Devian Kanojia, a very sociable, generous and considerate child and very patient as well. Harinath Ranjit, very intelligent and quick-witted, enthusiastic and an industrious child. Ishika Lijit, very determined and she is getting training in classical dance a budding dancer and very hard working. Leave Jijo, very expressive, confident, courageous and a good reader. Manna Joseph, very attentive, punctual, polite and well-mannered. The class teacher of KG2H is Mrs. Aksap Parveen. Next we have Maura Grace, who is very industrious, exhibits leadership qualities and is a good reader. Michelle Elsa Marcus, a very courteous, generous and sociable child. Nova Mariam, very cheerful and friendly, hardworking and courteous. Brendan, very ambitious, compassionate and dynamic. Sarah Mariam, very generous, introspective and optimistic. Adiba Sarfaraz, who is very sincere, curious and courteous. Ahayan Ashik, very helpful, creative and energetic. Krishna, very honest, cooperative and enthusiastic child. Dheya Nidin, punctual, generous and loving.
Nashita Banu, very creative, charismatic and a good reader. Aiden Seldana, very meticulous, zestful and consistent. Austin Melrick, sociable, confident, kind and pleasant. Zidan Janshir, very compassionate, enthusiastic and quick to respond. Emeline M. Lijo, very cordial, self-organized and disciplined. And the last student from KG2H, it is Nainika Saira, who is very concentrated, enthusiastic and cooperative. Next, I request all the KG2A parents to be ready near the stage. KG2A, the class teacher, Mrs. Seria Eldos. Seria Eldos, please be on the stage. The first student is Abhiram Prashant. Before that, just wait, Seria. We have a group photograph of KG. The next class is KG2A and the class teacher, Mrs. Sivia Eldos. The first student. Yeah, dear parents, uh, just one request for the single photograph. You can come forward, but when the group photograph is taken, please do not come forward because it's difficult for them to take the group photograph from the school side. Thank you for your cooperation. First is Abhiram Prashant from KG2A, very cheerful friendly and energetic. Abel Eldo Lijo, very smart, radiant and a good reader. Asher Noel Gomes, respectful, very obedient and confident. Asher Noel. Patul Najmuddin, a very focused, curious, and very consistent in his work. Elisha Josie, a very, very active, optimistic and a good leader.
Eli, uh, Elisha Josie. I request the parents of Elisha Josie of KT2A to please come to the stage. Next is Haniya Mohammed, a very respectful, loving, and obedient child. Henok Anish Matthew, very enthusiastic, active, and friendly. Maria Vineet, very optimistic, cheerful, and honest. Minha Mariam M, very enthusiastic, conscientious, and radiant. Mohammad Nahyan Sheikh, an enthusiastic learner, proactive and friendly. Navina and Jiju, very ambitious, creative and enthusiastic. Arun, very polite, focused, and creative. Tanmaya K. Rajesh, polite, curious, well-mannered. Tanmaya K. Rajesh, polite, curious, well-mannered. Yajwin Nagapa Gauda, active in extracurricular activities, a good reader and an enthusiastic learner. Next is Ditya Vishal Joshi and Diana Vishal Joshi, twins. Ditya is friendly and considerate, whereas Diana Vishal is generous friendly and courteous. Harjot Singh, very humble, honest and optimistic. Mohammed Mustafa Lotia, very creative, helpful, and optimistic. Shreyan Shirish Jadav, very curious, a good reader, and well mannered.
Dia Saluju, a very enthusiastic child, very determined, motivated and talented. Edna Jinu Abraham, very caring, friendly and respectful. Emmanuel John Santosh, very obedient, respectful and motivated child. And the last student from KG2A, it is Liza Sajid Khan, a very creative, obedient and well-mannered child. And now for the group photograph. The next class is KG2G. I request the parents to be ready near the stage KG2G. Next we have KG2G, the class teacher, Mrs. Biji Lesson. First we have Aizan Khan who is very humble, cheerful and respectful. Aizan Khan. Next we have Anandita Kulkarni, a very obedient, organized and cheerful child. Dhruva Raikar, a very inquisitive, confident child and a good communicator. Ivana Sara, well-mannered, friendly and cheerful and obedient. Ivana Sara. We have Galia Vergis next, a very cheerful, courteous and a focused child. Jolene Anna, very cheerful, well-mannered, self-organized and very active in sports and games. Jolene Anna. Joseph Anthony, a good Samaritan, very friendly and confident. Nita Nandan, very self-organized, a good Samaritan and well-mannered.
Noha Arakal, very disciplined, creative and well-mannered. Shannon De Silva, a very disciplined, a critical thinker and an enthusiastic learner. Shiva Hari Subi, a very well behaved, polite and respectful child. Zain A. Prince, good at numeracy and reasoning skills, very courteous and well-mannered. Alisha Mehik, very disciplined, courteous and friendly. Alisha Mehik. Tanvi P. Deepu, self-organized, very creative and punctual. Isabel Rachel Biju, very disciplined, courteous and self-organized. Isabel Joby, always with the best turnout, self-organized and a curious child. Ethan Kiran, very responsible, friendly and courteous. Ethan Kiran. Ethan Kiran of KG2G. Very responsible, friendly, and courteous child. Jacob K, a very friendly, cheerful child and a lover of nature. Jasaniel Jomin. A very courteous, honest child and a very good reader. Nathaniel Jomin. Courteous, honest and a good reader. Mohammad Moiz, very proactive, cheerful, and respectful. Amal Mariam, very disciplined and courteous, and always in the best turnout.
Fiona Bibin, always in the best turnout, a very well-mannered and disciplined child. Fiona Bibin. Helena Joseph, very polite, focused and friendly child. And the last child from KG2G, it is Abrian Matthew, very respectful, humble, and a good Samaritan. Yes, and now for a group photograph. The next class is KG2B. I request the parents of uh, the students of KG2B to be ready. The class teacher is Mrs. Nalini Sanoj Kumar. The first student is Abdul Ahad, a very inquisitive, expressive and thoughtful child. We have Davis Philip, a very creative, thoughtful, and curious child. Davis Philip. Ritan Joseph, very enthusiastic, adaptable, and inquisitive. Ivan George Jitin, very positive in his approach, good communicator and very curious. Ivan George Jitin. sign inquisitive resilient enthusiastic and an enthusiastic learner iris jojo prayerful trustworthy and very resourceful iris jojo Izan Shanas, passionate, an active learner and vibrant. Jean Maria, very inquisitive, observant and expressive.
Jessica Soni, very receptive, thoughtful, and curious in learning. Neva Jackson, very thoughtful, sensitive, and a good communicator. Numrain Zaga, pious, inquisitive learner, resilient. Prisha Jadav, artistic, expressive, and enthusiastic. She's an all-rounder. Sri Hari Chirakal, very respectful, a good Samaritan, and an innovative learner. Fabel Robin, active, loving, and respectful. Mohammed Zahan, very optimistic, generous, and sensitive child. Zaina Fatima, very creative, compassionate, and energetic. Anik Rudra, imaginative, patient, and energetic. Ashutosh Giri, very innovative, helpful, and trustworthy. Mohammad Razil Rais, very inquisitive, imaginative, and independent. Mohammad Yahya, very respectful, innovative, and expressive. Wafa Jasim, very curious, adaptable, and an active learner. Kezia Monsi, very friendly, compassionate, and an enthusiastic child. Nathan Anil Matthew, very patient, generous, and curious.
And the last child from KG2B, it is Tania Tony, who is very God-fearing, independent, responsible, and a good leader. And now for a group photograph. After the last class KG2D, we will have the Indian National Anthem. I request those parents who are present here to be there till the end and to encourage our young tiny tots. We just have one more division left. Now moving on to the last division, KG2D, the class teacher, Mrs. Maria Saifi. The first child, it is Annabel Titu Loyola, a very good communicator, confident reader and active learner and very friendly by nature. Anugraha Anna Ani, very sincere, respectful, creative, and humble. Dhanya S, very well behaved, confident, good speaker, and responsible. Daya Shivaravaman. Next we have Diksha Dhanesh, a very loyal, affectionate, very positive and an artistic child. Diksha Dhanesh. Ezekiel Freddy, a good speaker, confident, well-mannered and very active in extracurricular activities. Farah Fatima, an active learner, very diligent, energetic and all-rounder. That's Farah Fatima on the stage. Johan Anish Matai, cheerful, very courteous, helpful and a vibrant child. Joshua Ebi, a very disciplined, efficient, compassionate and caring child. Luke Simpson, smart, humble, obedient. Meenakshi Anup, a very responsible, curious child, very generous and helpful.
Nia and Jayesh, very soft spoken, a creative, responsible and helpful child. Rihan Abdul Razak, a good leader, quick learner, energetic and artistic. Satvik Selva Ganapati, very humble, cheerful, respectful and affectionate. Unnati Suvarna, a very good communicator, cheerful and friendly, independent learner and respectful. Ezra Maman Jinu, a very friendly, helpful, honest and respectful child. Jaydev Ebeneza Suresh, humble, respectful, focused and creative. Jaydev Ebeneza Suresh. Juvana Shaiju, very lovable, proficient in all doing her task, calm and serene. Nashwa Shahnoor, well behaved, inquisitive, friendly and obedient. Eob George, helpful, caring, positive and cheerful. Harun Adam, self-organized, obedient, responsible and has a love for nature. Sheikh Hamdan, well behaved, friendly, courteous and caring. We have twins, Jawahar bin Omar and Saleh bin Omar. Jawahar bin Omar is very curious, polite, respectful and helpful. And Saleh bin Omar is cheerful, hardworking, polite, and caring. The last student, it is Raya Subair, is very gentle, dedicated, efficient, and sincere.
Now for the group photo. Dear parents, this will be followed by the vote of thanks by Mrs. Niti Kapoor, KG2 in charge. And then we conclude with the Indian National Anthem. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everybody. And now I call upon Mrs. Niti Kapoor, KG2 in charge, to propose the vote of thanks. Good evening, everyone. A wonderful evening has come to an end. But an end always signifies a new beginning. A thankful heart is not only the greatest virtue, but the parent of all other virtues. Unquote. Good evening. I feel extremely humbled and honored as I stand before you here today to extend my vote of thanks. Gratitude, a small word, but in depth lies the meaning. I start by make thanking the Almighty God for his immense blessings showered on us. Till yesterday, it seemed an impossible feat to conduct the annual day, but God has been kind to us and has extended his gratitude, his benevolence on us. Thank you, God. Self-denial, a tool for victory. Our theme for today, initiated by our dear sir, is a vision he sees for our school. What better platform other than the KG students to lay a foundation on? Thank you, sir, for always guiding, motivating, and encouraging us to do our best. You taught us to be a tool of help in the lives of others. Behind every man stands a woman, strong and silent in her support. Our headmistress, Mrs. Thomas. Thank you, ma'am, for always encouraging us. I extend my thanks to our academic director, Mr. Ravish Thomas, for his insightful perception and advice, which helps us in presenting quality programs. Thank you, Ravish. I also extend my thanks to the senior leadership team, Mrs. Susan John, our vice principal, Mr. Abraham Matthew, our vice principal, for always being involved in our section. Thank you, sir, for your invaluable suggestions. Thank you, Susan John, ma'am, for always being so supportive. Sujata, ma'am, our main comparer for today's program, is the unseen thread which binds the pearls of our programs together beautifully. The resonance in your voice truly adds depth and character to our programs. Thank you, ma'am. To present a program of this magnitude requires tremendous hands and hard work. Weeks of planning, preparing have gone behind it. A heartfelt gratitude to our teaching assistants teachers of other sections, non-teaching staff, IT department, art department, food committee, light and sound department for putting sincere efforts to make our day successful. Thank you, parents, for being such a wonderful audience. Last but not the least, I want to thank our tiny tots for being so patient with us. I know we have been harsh on you, not because we don't love you, just to ensure that we bring out the best in you. We all love you very much, children. Thank you, Sabiha, ma'am, for being the shepherd in our lives. Wishing God's grace and benevolence in our lives. May we carry the vision of our dear sir and strive to create a meaningful, loving, and truthful paradise amongst the walls of our beloved school. Till we meet again next year with better and meaningful programs. God bless everyone. I request all the parents to please stand in attention for the Indian National Anthem.